What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. It is 6.30 p.m. Just getting the vlog started. We haven't really done anything today. We've just kind of been chilling, relaxing, um, and just watching YouTube and everything. I have made a few more purchases online, and uh, we should be getting a ton of packages coming in pretty soon. Um, I, would, I would have thought that maybe we would have had some today, and Abby's upstairs right now, so she might come back down with some. I'm not sure. Um, all the mail that we get at the store is currently being held, so tomorrow we're going to be able to go, or Abby's going to go, and pick up all the packages. So we should have a bunch of stuff to unbox tomorrow. Um, and I know that we've been unboxing a ton of plushies and stuff like that, but we have a ton of games on the way, which I know is, you know, the main thing. It's what you guys are going to be most interested in. So... Um, tomorrow we're going to be back at the store, uh, Ryan's going to be back as well, so we'll be, we'll be able to film a little bit with him, and we're going to hopefully get a ton of orders done. It should go a lot quicker with three people there versus just Abby and I, so we'll have, well, I mean, we'll have Abby and Ryan and myself there for one day, and then Abby's leaving to go see my sister, so it'll just be Ryan and I over the weekend, and we, I mean, the plan is to get caught up on all the orders by the end of Sunday. And I definitely think that that is possible. Uh, the, the older orders that we have take a lot longer than the newer orders. And if you guys remember when we first launched the website, um, I told you guys that it like wasn't removing everything from the system properly or whatever. We got that fixed. We got that figured out. And so now any of the new orders we get, um, it's, it's just a lot quicker but the old orders that we haven't finished yet still have to be done in the very time-consuming, meticulous way. So that's why it's taking forever to get those older orders done. Plus, the, the older orders that are still remaining are very, very large orders where they have like 20-plus items. So it's easier to just go through 10 orders that they only ordered one game and get those done really quick than spend that same amount of time working on one order. But... We should be able to get everything done just within, I mean, even maybe by Friday night, we could have everything done. I don't know. I'm saying Sunday just because I want to give us that extra time, um, but I think we'll probably be done before then. And once we're done with the orders, then we can focus on getting more stuff put onto the website. So um, the whole thing of plushies that I just unboxed for you guys yesterday I've actually already gotten pictures and stuff done for those, and they're already uploaded to the website. So as soon as we we import those plushies to our inventory software, they will automatically go on the website, and then all I have to do is attach the pictures, and we're good to go. So as soon as we get all the orders done, we'll be doing that. We'll be getting all the games and everything up. The stuff I got from GameStop the other day that we unboxed and all the other packages we have coming, hopefully will be able to be put up pretty much as soon as we get them. And I also wanted to give you guys an update on some of the prices on on things that we unboxed yesterday, specifically the Yoshi and the Isabel plushies. Um, I thought that they were a little bit more expensive than they actually are. The Isabel and Yoshi ones are both fifty nine ninety nine, so I thought they were like seventy for some reason. Um, so they're only they're only sixty, which I mean it's not that much cheaper, but it is a little bit cheaper, which is good. Um, and then the the Cappy Mario and the Mario and Peach with the wedding outfits. Um, those ones, I believe... I guess let me go to the website just to double check. I'm pretty sure that they were 40, but they might be 45. So let me... Let me get that real quick. Oh... My gosh. Ha <laughs> ha. So, when you first load up this website, one of our wholesalers, the very first page shows you brand new items that they've just added, and they just added a ton of Pokemon plushies. So, I'm going to have to go through these. There's an Eevee, there's a Mew, there's different. There's two different Eevees. There's a Lugia, there's a Dragonite, there's a Gengar, Magikarp. Oh my god, some Evolution ones. Lapras, Charmander, we might be making another order, but uh, let me get back to, 
let me get back to the those Mario ones so I can give you the price on those because I want to want to tell you guys the accurate price. Um, but they are forty dollars. Okay, so they are thirty nine ninety nine. That's not too bad. I thought they were going to be more, so that's good. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to look at the stuff that they've just posted and maybe make another order. But um, other than that, we really don't have too much planned for today. Um, I, we, I think we honestly don't have anything planned. So hopefully there's some packages up there that we can unbox for you. Because uh, other than that, I'm just going to have to find something to talk about in the game room <laughs> to fill out the rest of the vlog. But here's a very cute clip of Zelda. You're so sweet, Zelda. What a cute little baby. Oh, goodness. She loves you so much. So I took a nap and watched some Bob's Burgers. Don't really have much for you guys today, unfortunately. Um, but we did get one package in the mail. Got a couple copies of Hell Warders. I think is how it's pronounced. Um, Tom sent me an Amazon link, and he's like, hey, this game is, is on sale. It was marked down to 10 bucks, brand new on Amazon, so I grabbed two copies here. One for the collection, one for the closet. Um, I was going to try to get four because they were so cheap, but uh, Amazon will only allow two, and so I just I didn't bother to try to make like a second order or anything because I'm fine with two. Um, Abby did some cleaning in the game room here. There's still stuff everywhere, of course, but it looks a lot better. I don't know if you guys saw it, but there it is. And then there's all this stuff over here. Um, but she did a ton of work, so it looks a lot better. But, uh, yeah, plushies are back here. There's the, the giant Yoshi. So, um... Somebody had asked in the comments if if we could get, um, well, a couple of people have asked about, like, figures and statues. Um, some of the wholesalers that we are dealing with, they do have statues and figures for all sorts of different game series and anime series and whatever else. Um, the only reason that I have not ordered any so far is because I don't know if there is going to really be demand for them. So if figures and statues are something that you guys would be interested in, I guess let me know in the comments. Um, there's everything from like Attack on Titan and Demon Slayer and My Hero Academia to there's like Tekken figures and uh, Dragon Ball Z and there's like some Street Fighter ones and just like, like I can get like the Halo figures and all sorts of stuff. Um, so if you're interested or if you would be interested in that kind of stuff, let me know. Um, based on what I'm seeing, the, the, they aren't, I wouldn't say statues, I suppose. They're more just figures. Um, but you know, standard size figures, like roughly eight inches or so with maybe like a base or something. Um, obviously brand new in packaging, um, at least for like the Dragon Ball ones and stuff, retail is like 25 ish. So they're not too expensive. Um, I just don't want to put money into that kind of stuff unless I know that people would be interested in them. Obviously I know that they sell. I just don't know if, if, we have those types of customers who would be interested in that kind of stuff. So the plushies, you know, it, it's a little bit easier to kind of tell, like it, people that are collecting video games typically are interested in, in some plushies here and there, but like anime figures and stuff like that, it's a different market. So I don't know. Um, but I would, I would like to get a little bit more variety if, you know, if possible, um, so it just depends on, I guess, what you guys might be interested in. I wish I could order stuff like this, <laughs> but obviously those have not been 
made in quite a long time. But I love looking at this wall in particular, this one, because this is where I have like all the boxed Nintendo consoles and like all the controllers and all that kind of stuff. I think it looks pretty cool. We have this box, which the people that brought that in were supposed to be bringing in the console to go with it because it's just the box of manuals, but um, then all this stuff happened. <laughs> so don't have the system yet. Some sealed GameCube stuff. A lot of people have been asking for another room tour, like a 2020 room tour. Um, I've, I've talked about it a little bit before. The reason I don't really want to do it is because I have had to box up a lot of stuff, including all of the NES games. Uh, this shelf here used to be GameCube, and then it used to be NES on that side, but um, I had a stack of GameCube games sitting right there that was like this tall that I couldn't fit on the shelf, and I was like, well, I'll just turn this whole shelf into GameCube, I guess, and move the NES, but there's nowhere else to put the NES right now, so I had to box them up. So there's one box there, I think. Um, I don't know where Abby put them. Maybe they're underneath the Pikachu costume, but there's like three or four boxes of NES games, and we just don't have anywhere to put them. But I'm not saying that I won't do a room tour before we move. It's just I know that once we move and we have the new game room and get everything set up, the room tour in that game room will be a lot better and it will be a lot different. Like, if I film Room Tour in here again, it's going to be pretty close to the last one we filmed. Um, there's more stuff, of course, but it's the same room. It's generally generally the same layout. I just think a Room Tour in a new game room would be really, really, really awesome. So that's kind of my plan, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do one. 